the gun crew moves back to take positions and slip trenches during firing. The time is 0830. With the reduction in size of the basic weapon, artillery piece sized bombs are tested at the Nevada test site. 11 detonations with atomic Annie. With a degree of accuracy four times greater than any gun developed before World War II, the 280mm gun has proved... In August of the same year, the Soviets tested their fourth nuclear device. Some 13 miles under any weather conditions. In 1954, six detonations codenamed Castle were made in the Pacific using deployable warheads. One test of a thermonuclear device yielded twice the expected power, contaminating a large area of the Pacific Ocean with fallout. 100-inch camera is... Teapot was the code name for 14 more 1955 detonations, this time of devices designed at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. The familiar mushroom cloud snakes skyward, hurling the atom's deadly radiation high into the heavens. Also in that year, the Soviets detonated their first so-called hydrogen bomb. In 1956, the US ran Operation Red Wing, in which they used all three bomb design developments, two-point linear detonation, gas fusion boosted pit, and the latest development, the air lens. Incorporating the nail and hammer effect again, a hollow ovoid high explosive is detonated from either end. The imploding shockwave moves through the air, forming a spherical wave. The wave hits and detonates a spherical charge that then crushes the plutonium pit. The initial fission process is boosted with the fusing hydrogen gas and the weapon detonates. This so-called swan device was small, only 30 centimeters in diameter. Efficient in both effect and materials, it evolved into the W-54 warhead and became the basis of most other weapons designs. It would become the primary trigger for the secondary fission fusion fission device or thermonuclear bomb, known incorrectly as the hydrogen bomb. In 1957 brought Operation Plum Bob at the Nevada test site, 29 tests including use of troops on the ground where many were exposed to hazardous levels of radiation. This same year, Britain tested its first hydrogen bomb. Britain fires its first H-bomb to join the United States and Russia as ranking atomic powers. The thermonuclear device was fired high over its target in the Christmas Islands, keeping fallout at a minimum. But the test added heat to the mounting debate over the safety of atomic tests. The following year, a planned series of thermonuclear detonations to dig a new harbor at Cape Thompson in Alaska was canceled due to public pressure. Operation Hardtack 1 and 2 saw the US detonate a total of 72 nuclear weapons, each a minimum of one megaton in range in Nevada and the Pacific. Argus was the launching of three Redstone missiles armed with nuclear warheads over the southern Atlantic Ocean. They detonated in near space. The three rockets fired by the vessel about that time to explode nuclear bombs 300 miles high as part of Project Argus, the greatest scientific experiment ever conducted. The nuclear bursts in a vacuum of space through a shell of radiation around the Earth within an hour. A globe-girdling network of thousands of scientists made observations. To monitor the radiation shell in outer space, a satellite Explorer fourth was launched. France began testing its nuclear device in 1960 in Algeria. Four weapons were tested. One story suggests that the last detonation was not so much a weapons test as an emergency procedure 
to stop the bomb falling into the hands of guerrilla forces rebelling against the French. 